Have you ever wondered why we have coffee and on Sunday donuts, on Saturday night often cookies, why we would take and make a space for gathering? Well, it's one of the ways we care about one another. And we care about one another when we make not only room for one another, but we serve one another. When White talks about Paul, he talks about prayer in that way, and he turns it inside out. He says, don't just think about the person, think about how God thinks about that person. On page 157, White writes, how does God feel toward the person we pray for? What investment does God have in him or her? Uh, what kind of God is he? Does God usually drop people and lose interest in them? You are an eternal investment of God in this world. God has invested in you the gifts, the talents, the passions, the interests that make you the unique person you are. And then God adds to that the spiritual gifts, uh, the growing of the soul. And on top of all of that, God invested the Savior, Jesus Christ. But if God invested all of that in you, then God surely has invested the same in every other human being. When we pray for someone, White suggests that like Paul, we consider the great investment God has made in them. And that investment ultimately is love. No wonder Paul prays in the Ephesian letter that the Christians in Ephesus be rooted and grounded in love because God is love. When we pray for others, let us pray with the hope and the dream that God may have for them. Happy reading.